Well, okay. So uh, let's let's force this acetal to go though. Usually, when you're going to do acetals, you want to put a little drop of acid in there because it catalyzes them to form. It makes it form real fast. Okay. So um, let's work with um, our diol, our one two diol, and um, acetone here, and we'll just write a little drop of acid in a different way than you've seen it before, okay? Let's just write that, okay? So you can write that, you can write what we've been saying, like H2SO4, H2O, right? You could also write H3O plus, of course, all of those are the same thing, okay? Uh, H3PO4, okay? Cat, it'll say sometimes. So, um, I actually don't prefer to write just H plus because honestly that ion doesn't really exist, H3O plus, and even bigger ions than that. But um, sometimes in the book you'll see it as just H plus, so I don't want you to get confused, okay? So anyways, um, what's the first step that's going to happen in this reaction? It's the third rule of organic chemistry, maybe. Acid-base reactions happen faster than any other reaction, right? So, when I, when I ask and you say, I know, tell me, okay? Just tell me. That's all you gotta do. Okay. Let's just, I'm gonna erase that. I wish I had a proper erasement. Can anybody see what happened to Oh, I put it in front of me. So you can think of it doing that, okay? Or honestly, probably what's going to happen is this is going to deprotonate the acid first, and then it's going to transfer it to that, okay? Because this is more basic than that, okay? But it doesn't matter, okay? Because eventually you have to get that proton on that uh, ketone uh, oxygen. Is that okay? So when I do that, in fact, let's just erase this, because that doesn't have anything to do with that first step. Like that. And now we have our dial. So now what's going to happen? So this thing is a good electrophile, right? This is like that super electrophile that we're talking about. So just like Renee's saying, the next step is going to be nucleophile electrophile. And those are the arrows you want to be Very good. I like it. That's what I want. You know it. Tell me. Okay, so let's draw our product of that. So remember, what is the hybridization of that carbon there? That's sp2. Sp2, and the next one's going to be sp3, right? So if we had two different um, substituents on this carbonyl carbon, right, there's going to be a, a stereocenter being formed, okay? So you got to watch out about that. But of course, in these general reactions, create that tetrahedral
The other thing you always want to keep in mind, of course, here we didn't write our water molecule. You know, as organic chemists, we don't always like to balance equations. But you always want to keep in mind that if you've got a positive on one side, you want to keep that positive going. Okay. So the next step is going to be what? Sorry, can anybody can anybody guess what the next step is? Yeah. It's going to be why? Because we've got an acid there. Deprogramation. It's going to be a two-step depronation. It's not this one is not going to deprone. It's too hard for it to reach around. Okay, so we're going to have to have water deprone here, and I'm just going to erase like this. All right, here. Let me show the whole thing. So that step. Okay. Then I'm, so I don't have to write the whole thing. Now that, is everybody okay with that? Okay, so now what's going to happen is one of these, it'll keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until eventually this one gets it. Okay, so it's going to deprotonate like that. And in fact, that's one thing we should be showing here, is that all of these are equilibrium arrows. And there's a driving force of this reaction. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so of course, that's also all acid-base reactions. So yeah, a good leaving group, right? We created a good leaving. going to kick out that leaving group. Is it easier for this thing, is it easier for me to, you know, close my eye or to make my foot kick my eye closed, do you know? Yeah. If I'm definitely real talented funny. and I don't have an eyelid, you it know? It would definitely be funny. <laughs> right. So the closest proximity thing is going to happen first. Okay. So that's pushing the reaction, actually. Because that's a stable molecule, right? And then this thing, this is the water's not going to be able to come back in time before this thing closes back. Okay, so let's draw what we get next. Because probably I can see some of you are like, what are you talking about? plus the water molecule. So is it easier for that to hit that or that to hit that? Which one? This one or this one? Why? Because it's attached to it. You know? It's easier to hit yourself than for somebody else to hit you. right? So what's going to happen is this oxygen is going to come back and do a nucleophilic attack on that electrophilic center. Notice this looks a lot like when it, what it looked like up here, right? 
at that plus charge, what's going to happen to the other bond? It's going to kick up. Like that. So that's the driving force of the reaction, is losing that water molecule. Okay, I'm going to have to erase these steps over here. So. Okay, is that cool? It's cool. Again, you can watch this video when I post it. Okay, so when we do that, what do we got? We got that, 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 that. that. Okay. If you can't see that, label your carbon and oxygens, right? So, we can start on one end or the other. Which end do you want to start at? We'll start there. One, two, three, four, five, right? So the oxygen with the proton is number one, right? And the ketone carbon is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that what you did? Yes. And then, what's the last step? Deprotonating. You can say it louder. Deprotonating the oxygen. The last step. Okay. And in fact, that's going to be an equilibrium step until you extract it. And you get... What is this kind of compound called, guys? What we're making? Acetal. An acetal, yeah. And that was the little bling to say that you got the right answer. Is there any questions on that one? Questions? Questions? Okay. All right. I guess the last and is we are missing. Remember, it's catalytic in acid. So that's, that's a good question, Eve. 